Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And we are back in the town of Tumbleweed, guys, where law and order is the theme of the day. Whether people want it or not. <laughs> but um, we are here to grab another bounty. I believe that is the last bounty that is available here in town. And then after Enjoy that... Well, let's see here. Just wait for it. How y'all doing? Oh, Joaquin's still alive. Now, have you talked to the sheriff? Like a good little boy? I only gonna talk to your mama, okay? But she can fit through the door. That's very clever. <laughs> well done. So classy. Let's see, we're gonna bring in any of your brothers in arms there, Joaquin? Can't read that. Wanted, $65 offered for Esteban Cortez, one of the leaders of the Del Lobos gang, which have committed acts of murder against offices of the state and deputized sheriffs, and robbed coaches and trains with impunity. The Del Lobos were last seen near Gaptooth Breach. We would kindly ask the reader to let no opportunity pass whereby they or another person can bring Cortez in, dead or alive. That's what I want to see. They will receive the everlasting gratitude and thanks of mourning, of distress, <laughs> mourning and distressed families. Respectfully, Sheriff Freeman, Tumbleweed Sheriff Office. can definitely do that. Go ahead and auto-save the game. And Joaquin will leave you to the Sheriff's hospitality. Hey there, Rachel. Law and order, good things follow. From disobedience, only death shall be your reward. <sighs> Bet it's a hellish existence living here. All right, gap to. Oh, okay. Relatively close by. Glad to say. Um, let's go ahead and get a waypoint going. After we take care of this, we'll ride. Oh, well, actually, we have to head back to Tumbleweed anyway. I think what we'll do is we will take a stagecoach all the way back to Lemoyne because um, in the comments something that has to do with the plague and armadillo can be found over there and then we will head back to Blackwater and see if we can take care of that bounty that was over there too. We've had a really good time uh, running through New Austin. It's been a nice trip down memory lane. But we kind of need to get back to business. And taking on Cortez in the middle of the night. Sounds like a plan. Maybe they won't see it coming. Here's hoping, at least. And then after we're done with the bounty in Blackwater, I don't know how many are left. We can finally head back to Uncle. Now that we got the uh, wildlife out of our system. And continue on with this very long, expansive, and amazing um, addition to the game. This definitely beats the one from the first Red Dead game. Though the one from the first Red Dead game was awesome and also very satisfying at the end. Hopefully it'll be the same for John here. Fingers crossed. Get by here. Now, if he's one of the leaders of the Del Lobos gang, he probably has a lot of crew under his employ. I wonder if we can get in, cl or not get in close, but zoom in with a sniper rifle and just take him out. That'd make life a whole lot easier, and then we can just take care of his uh, guards as they come for us. Let's see, we've got a house right there. Have we... Have we explored that? What is that? Oh, easy there, Rachel. What are you doing? What the... Oh, this is the mining camp. Or it was the mining camp. What just happened? That up. 
someone was playing with TNT. And, well, what did we expect would happen? He's eating rocks down in the mine. He's so mad. I swear, one more boom, he's gonna come up here and take your head off. Okay, okay. You hear that? No more fun, amigos. I'm serious. All your heads taken off one by one. Put in a nice pretty row like a poppy field. Stop it. Now, idiotos. Well, I guess we know where our quarry is. Now I'm wondering, can we... <laughs> part of me, I, I'm not going to lie, part of me does want to just throw a thing of dynamite. Can we? Bye guys. <laughs> that was so satisfying. And we'll just pick them off as they exit the mine. Maybe. Because I figured an explosion, they would just think that uh, they didn't pay attention to their guy's warning. Okay, Rachel, you just go ahead and hang out. Now, can we go into... Oh, we can go into these buildings. Holy crap. Well, that was not expected. Let's see if they have any pieces of loot for us. Oh, there was four of them. I thought there were only three. Well, I am glad we did what we did then. Hopefully there were no hostages. Potent horse stimulant. There you are. Maybe it's just him. That'd be preferable. Now, in the first Red Dead game, they uh, they sent mine carts laden with dynamite toward us. I'm wondering if this is going to be more of the same. I saw you, my friend. I see there's something explodey right behind. Oh. Something explodey right near you. Please don't shoot this while I'm looting. And throwing dynamite in the middle of a mine shaft isn't the smartest course of action. Oh, that's a horrible way to die. He caved in. He just got gunned down like no one's business. Alright. Well, hold on. Let's go ahead and loot the man. I guess we could have taken him alive. But we wouldn't have got that really satisfying blood pool on top of that rock. Besides, Sheriff Freeman can't have all the fun. So we got to throw some dynamite. And is that morning starting to break? Ah, oh, excellent. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Okay, hold up. Let us go ahead and use some chewing tobacco. There we are. It's one of the few times that we've grabbed a bounty and then some friends showed up. And I won't go loot those, nor will I be touching the horses. There you are, Rachel. Look what I got, girl. Stow? There we are. Didn't even get a look at this guy. Oh, well, that's appropriate. Thank you, Rachel. You got this, girl. Get an outlaw on you, you feel the urge to evacuate your bowels. It's good reflex. I've seen worse. Well, it's going to be our last morning in the desert, guys. Well, actually, I don't know about that. We may we may get the bounty in black water. You know, I came down here because just out of my own volition, we may have a bounty in black water that sends us back down here. I didn't even think about that. Are those just... Oh, those are those wagons. guess we'll have to see. I won't need much of an excuse to come back here. I wonder if Sheriff Freeman's gonna say something. He's gonna be disappointed that we went ahead and killed Cortez. We're just gonna uh, just save the town the cost of hanging him. Or free save Freeman a bullet, either way. Breaks. Ooh, if Joaquin's still in here, he should have a chuckle. Or will have a chuckle seeing his reaction, possibly. You looking for Esteban Cortez? This fella here might have been him. Looks like him, all right. You saved me a bullet and a telling off. Now dump him out back and I'll have you your paint. Oh, Joaquin's not here. I bet you the sheriff went ahead and took care of him. What I say goes around here. And I say get that body out of here. There you go, buddy. I guess bodies stacked like cordwood next to the sheriff's office is a normal thing around here. That's the bounty, as agreed. That'll help me with my conscience. I wouldn't come here looking for bounties for a while. The sheriff can only delegate responsibility so long. I want authority. I got to earn it. Uh, no, we were not going to aim a weapon at the gun-happy peace officer. But I think that might be it for here in New Austin, guys. So, let's go ahead and check our map and see where we need to go from here. Um, now, we need to... Okay, back here in Lemoyne. Where is Scarlet Meadow? Apparently most of the stuff that we need to... Or the start of our trip is going to be there. Scarlet Meadow, Scarlet Meadow. It's been so long since we've been over to Le Moyne and not uh, St. Denis. Blue Water Marsh... Hmm. 
We also Bayou Noir. Okay, here's Bayou Noir. That works. And it, comes, it says a small lake with a peninsula. And, well, it's Bayou. There's tons of... Small lake with a peninsula, and then there's like a cabin. Hmm. Well, I may have to... That might be it right there. It looks like a place that we've exp we've uh, seen before. We may have rode by it, but it's right near the railroad. I think that might be the place. Let's go ahead and set that on the map. And I guess we'll see. And it's close to roads, fortunately. So let's go ahead and grab a stage. Where's the stage at? To the west. Because the signpost might be a clue. Alright, one last look around. Gonna miss you, New Austin. We might be back. Guess we'll have to see. And all the way back to Rhodes. Probably be nighttime by the time we get there. I think it. Uh, I think that map, that waypoint, must be it because I'm not seeing any other small lakes like bodies of water that were separated from the main river. Fingers crossed. And then we can just head back to Rhodes, travel to Blackwater, and get that last bounty. Actually, I don't know if it's the last bounty, but it will be the last bounty that we currently have available to us. Hate to wake you, sleeping beauty, but we're here. That was great. Thank you. Please ignore the blood on my clothes. Now that is Mr. White and Mr. Black over there on the radar. It looks like we lost our waypoint. And who knows, maybe we'll have more opportunities to shoot some Lemoyne Raiders. Always a fun time, and always a good decision. You know, while we're here... Let's go visit the fence. Well, the fence is on the way. We have so much loot. How's it going, boss? Right here. Welcome. You just discovered my little shop here. Oh, I guess John has. Lion's paw trinket. Is there anything that we can build? Nope. Oh, good. A new patron. Welcome. Welcome. All right, so provisions, tonics, ingredients, materials, kit. Ah, emerald, meteorite, don't want to get rid of. Ancient necklace, yes. Sell all. And we can't even sell Mary's ring, even with uh, John. So that's kind of good. About to hit a thousand. Or maybe, not sure. Penelope's bracelet. There's all the clocks. And finally, some silver. Right there on the line. Welcome. Okay. You just discovered my little shop here. There. Let's go, girl. We are quite richer. Maybe that Blackwater bounty will get us over the thousand. A thousand dollars was a lot of... Well, I mean, it's a lot of money now. 
I think, but that was an absolute ton of money back in the time, back in the day. And a lot of these cabins actually out here in the swamp look the same. Well, something's going on over there. Dare we... Ex nah, you know what? Let's, let's stay on the course. I'm going to show a uncharacteristic amount of restraint. When it comes to this series. And this might be the place in question. Yes, indeed. Hmm. I don't know if I came over here. I am going to grab a shotgun. Oh, no, not, not the bow. No, not the bow. There we go. Just in case of crocodiles, you understand. You know what? I don't think I actually have been over here. Knock, knock. Ew. Okay. Someone's a painter. That's nice to see. I'm expecting like someone to be like right behind me in the mirror and then I'm going to freak out. Okay, well I'm not seeing Anything else in here? Have I... Have I been in here before? I may have. What does this say? Hold up. Let's... Can we... Switch over to... Is that Armadillo? Oh, it's not going to let me. Sorry, I'm trying to remember how to switch over into first person, guys. There we go. I offered your ha you happiness to or two generations. You made your choice. Ooh. Oh, I see that top. Is this the strange man's? I saw that top hat. That top hat gave me Arthur's deer. Ooh. Okay, well, this isn't disturbing at all. Checking to see if there's anything else. And I think we'll just go ahead and flee. Yep, definitely fleeing. 
I did hear... Is there a crocodile? There's a crocodile under the house. Hi there, buddy. How are you? Okay, very quickly. We're just get washing the blood off. That's what we're doing. I was okay. I, I was confused until I saw that top hat, and then I just got that, you know, the hairs on the back of my neck, like raised up. Ooh. Okay. Now we'll we'll head back to Rhodes and head to Blackwater and pretend we didn't see any of this. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking now, so two generations. So, I, I don't know if I've met, I, I've mentioned the strange man, but I don't think I've actually explained him. Um, there's a guy in the first Red Dead game that it's still under speculation what exactly he was. And, uh, oh man, my mind's like all over the place now. It's all over the shop. Whether he was the personification of death, or the devil, an angel, like, no I God. It, yeah, your, your particular mileage may vary, because they don't explain it. And I'm actually very glad that they don't. I love it when, when stuff is kept purposely vague. Sometimes, at least. It's a Leviathan, I'll tell you what. Hello. You look yeah, I guess we could go say hi to Pearson, but I don't think he has much more to say. Alright. And back to Blackwater. Easy. Rachel's gotten quite the uh, workout this episode. See what the sheriff here has for us. What? It's going to send us back to the desert. I've got a feeling. Because it may be one of those things of like, hey, head over here. For the people who weren't even expecting, okay. like, the, this is it. the section Thank from Red Dead that. to be open. I know the station's kind of far away, so. There's my girl. And it looks like daybreak's starting to come in. Or not daybreak. Um, the opposite of that. The afternoon. The sun is setting. Boop. Breaks. Bless Gavin's friend. Gavin. Hope I could have friends that loyal. Where the hell are you? Let's go ahead and get that blood off of you. There, Rachel. Fine, Philly. That should help. There's a girl. Couldn't do it without you, girl. Just like that, the blood is gone. How you do? I hope you're looking for another bounty, cause we're after that outlaw on the wall there. Who do we got here? Otis Skinner. Oh, it's a member of the Skinner brood. One of the leaders of the Skinner brothers and their gang. He's wanted for murder and suspect and several others carried out by the group. These men are desperate, have been caught, ma have been causing mayhem throughout the state. Age, believe 48 years, bushy beard with gray blue eyes. Is quick in his movements, last seen in tall trees. Otis Skinner of the Skinner Brothers. 
Well, well, well. It's said they took the pelt off a pelt hunter southwest of Manzanita Post. Well, I should try and hold on to mine. Very droll. In all my years of policing, I haven't encountered men such as those. Makes me wish I'd retired some time here to four, if I'm frank. Well, good luck and Godspeed. Actually, it looks like you may be retiring sometime soon, sir. I will do so. Didn't we take out... I think we took out this guy's little brother uh, previously. He had like a bear hat or some such. All right, right near near Manzanita Post. That's not too far of a ride. Let's see. I actually don't know if that's even in the forest area. The tall trees. I'll tell you what, part of me is actually considering putting that guy out of his misery. Or at least a part of me does. Because when we talked to him, he was obviously quite mad. We got dominoes. Oh, another bounty in the middle of the night. Or it'll probably be nighttime when we reach there. Guess we'll have to see. I don't know if we'll have time for Uncle's mission. And we'll maybe be, there might be another bounty right after this one. I couldn't have drawn it prettier, no sir. Well, oh, hey there, partner. Come take a look at this. It's the herb guy. We haven't seen him since Lemoyne. Well, you see this here? American ginseng. Take a feller from not too bad to hardy as buck in no time. Really something. Yep, you don't find this every day. Dose this in your medicine, give it some zip. Believe me. Whatever you're selling, I ain't buying. Anyway, I ain't gonna use all of this, so feel free to help yourself to whatever's left. You take care now. Thank you, partner. We had already done this with Arthur, but I guess this is one of those encounters that kind of resets. That's kind of cool. So Manzanita Post was a kind of a cabin area, or cabin with a few goods and services in Red Dead 1. I don't know if I actually went in there yet, but what are all these rabbits getting in our way? I didn't want to run over another one. Kind of close, right down this path. Come on, Rachel. Let's try and... Was it alive or dead? I don't remember. I assume dead. Skinner doesn't seem the kind of person to be taken alive. Guess we'll find out. It should let us know in the mission brief. Yeah, something... Something aggressive was nearby. Rachel was a little bit concerned. Okay, Otis oh, is wanted God. dead or alive. Excellent. It is rifle time. And shotgun time. I guess this camp might be a clue. How are we on our dead eye? Enough to do what we need done. Oh, this is the the pelt hunter. Okay. 
Ew. Oh, hell's bells. Yeah, these guys are reavers, man. Just look at this. And it's ominously nighttime. I'm trying to remember how to track. Oh. Find them. Yeah. I guess they I let them find me. Really? Wait, is that Otis right there? Oh, wild dog. Oh, I'm sorry, doggy. Don't you dare. I don't know if I can hog tie you. Oh, doggy, I'm sorry. All right, sorry. You're Probably feral. Alright. <laughs> Put the hat back on. These guys are not moving with any sense of immediacy. So neither should I. Two of this of you. That's one. Otis. Oh, there. Where are you guys moving to? What happened here? Quick, stop. Gotcha. They can't get the skinner. Okay, it is shotgun time. Here, have the oh. 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 Don't make me repeat myself. Yeah, definitely wasn't bringing Otis in alive. Of course, I don't really... <laughs> I feel bad about the doggy. But judging from all the wholesale slaughter, not necessarily feral, but the dog has a taste for blood. So, it wasn't being rehabilitated anytime soon. I think it's the first time we've seen something or a group of people rock out an attack dog. Well, at least with a shotgun blast, it was probably dead before it hit the ground. Nice hole in that guy's head. Satisfying. How much more nonsense do you guys have? Cigarettes. Probably not a whole lot of good loot. Even got a, a wagon for cages. Doesn't look like anyone's alive. Freaking Boltons. <laughs> Wait, empty bottle examine? What are we examining? Wait, hold up. Old Blood Eyes, Kentucky Bourbon. And more Kentucky Bourbon and a severed arm. We can't use that as a melee weapon, so... 
What you got on you, Otis? 47 cents, and not much else. Okay, Rachel. Oh. Aw, oh, Otis, I'm sorry. Apologies. Don't know if you can make this rage. Okay, yeah, we can do this one. Good traction on those boots. Let's get out of here. I don't know which is worse, the Skinner brothers or the uh, those folk from up near the last area we had a camp, or the gang had a camp at. I forgot their names. But they had the, the cave that we had to vacate. That was right near Manzanita Point and they didn't even know. Or the post. Oh well. Ride black back to uh, Blackwater. Drop this guy off, see if there's anything else to do. And if not, then we are... Alright, don't you shoot my horse. We've got you now. Bye bye. You shoot my horse, I will shoot yours back. It's like Firefly. If someone tries to kill you, you kill them back. Well, looks like Rachel took a bullet or two, but she'll be fine. She's a thoroughbred, so she can pick up the speed. Let's see if we have any more of Otis's friends. Like, why would you be concerned about body detail? Or, you know, body retrieval? Unless they had some sort of unsavory purpose for it, and I'm not even going to think about that. Civilization. Only during bounty missions, I think, would John or Arthur be pleased to see it. That means that anyone in pursuit is probably going to break off. Head to the coastline. Who knows, maybe with the Skinner brothers gone, the sheriff will finally decide to retire. <laughs> I mean, the Pinkerton offices haven't been finished yet. Brakes. Good riding, girl. Very much so. You know what? You get more attention. Because you deserve it. Good work, girl. As usual. See, that's right, John. So help me if Rachel dies via cinema scene. Down the line, I'm going to have a word with the good folks at Rockstar. Alright, I got another balding cannibal mountain man here. Hey, you knew this wretch is Otis Skinner. Hey! Is that him? I hope he suffered for his sins, all right. Dump him out back, then. That was mean, John. Has not been a good month. Huh. Ah. mundo! Gentlemen?
That's what we're paying for him. I would give you more if I could. I would take yeah, it well, if I could. There's honest work for honest pay. You should know there has been a cessation in the issuance of bounties in Blackwater. Apparently, we have the budget to build a city, but not to protect one. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that is it then. So this is a perfect time to go ahead and go get a drink. <laughs> Come on, so I think uh, John's going to go ahead and travel to the saloon, guys. And we will call it an episode. And when we get back, we will uh, see what Uncle is up to. Let's actually check the map again to see if there's... Well, there's plenty of corpses. Yes, we, we caused many, many corpses. I don't see what those two near Manzanita Point are, though. Hmm... Interesting. They'll probably be gone by the time I... By the time we get the next episode, though. But uh, we will see you guys back at Beecher's Hope. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Later days, everyone.